Hey guys, it's Andy, and today I'm going to show you the BLK3D's Smart Room feature. All right, so I'm out on site with my BLK3D, and I'm going to show you the Smart Room feature with the laser distance meter to create a floor plan of this space. So right on the main menu, uh, you can see I have this sketch and documentation button. If I click on that, you can see I have the Smart Room option, and I'm gonna choose that one. And um, before I start, I need to decide if I wanna measure the, the walls clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't matter which way I go, but I have to stay consistent once I start. So I've decided to measure this room clockwise. Um, so the only other rule I need to remember is to keep the screen of the BLK 3D uh, facing inward. It doesn't matter if I measure each wall from left to right or right to left, um, the BLK 3D is automatically gonna figure that out. Finishing up uh, my last measurement here. And then now I'm gonna hit finish. All right, perfect. I can see my floor plan here. I can see all my dimensions. I can zoom in and see my total area measurement. Um, and on the, the bottom, you can see I have a 3D option. If I toggle that, it's going to ask me for a room height. All right, um, once I've used that, uh, now it's, I have the, the 3D model right here on my BLK3D. I can like hardly contain my excitement. It looks really good. So you also see at the bottom we have this documentation tab. Um, this is where I can, I can place a stereo image at any point in the, in the 2D floor plan. Uh, so if I click on this, I can now um, either take a new stereo image or choose from some previous ones that I've already taken. And when I click done, uh, this image will be stored at this location in the floor plan. Um, so I can always jump right back to that if I need to. So my model looks pretty good, uh, but you can see I don't have any doors or windows, but I can add them really easily in the sketch tab. So if I zoom into the wall that I need to add a door to, I can tap on the wall and now I can tap opening. By default, it's gonna drop a door in. I need it to swing inwards. Actually, I need it to swing that way. And now I can measure the, the width of the door. Um, if I'm good with that measurement, I can click confirm. Now I can measure the height of the door. I'm gonna confirm that measurement. Then I can measure out these dimensions to very accurately place the door. So now this door is um, correctly placed. I can go back into my 3D model and I can see that this door is uh, in the right spot and the correct dimensions. So now that I've taken all my dimensions, I've got a really nice uh, 3D model uh, that I've created on site. Uh, and all of this data is really easily shareable. I can export this out as either a 2D or a 3D DXF or DWG. So this is a quick video on how to use the BLK3D's laser distance meter and the smart room function. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.